You can use the Windchill Workgroup Manager to connect applications other than Creole Parametric to Windchill. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in the Windchill Workgroup Manager. I am looking at one of my workspaces. In order to register an application, you go to the Tools menu, and here we have Application Management. I currently have no applications registered with the Windchill Workgroup Manager. If I go to the Applications menu, I can choose to register the new application. When I installed the Windchill Workgroup Manager, I selected Creo Schematics and Creo Illustrate, PTC MathCAD Prime, and SolidWorks as potential applications that I would want to connect to Windchill. In this case, I'm going to use Creo Schematics 4.0, and then I can choose the Register button, and it removed it from the list here. When I close the Register and Authoring Application dialog box, here you can see that we now have Creo Schematics 4.0 listed. If I click on, oh, let me select it. If I select it, you can see that it's got the application name and it was able to figure out where it is installed on my computer and the launch command. Let's close out of this. And now I'm going to launch Creo Schematics and show you what it's going to look like. So now I am in Creo Schematics. One difference that you'll notice versus how Creo Schematics normally looks is that now I have a Windchill tab here. And Windchill tab that allows me to perform different operations, like if I want to check in or check out different objects. So now I am going to open up a schematic. Let me locate one that is on my computer. And now that I have this schematic open, I'm able to do operations like check it in. And once I have it checked in, I can check it out. So there you can see that now I have windchill functionality available to me in Creo Schematics. So that's how you can use the windchill workgroup manager with other applications like Creo Schematics.